Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy, and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as protein sequencing by admin degradation method. Why do we need to do protein sequencing? As a scientist, we need to find the evolutionary history of that protein, to predict the cellular localization of the protein, to predict the sequence of the gene encoding that protein, and discover the structure and function of a protein through various methods. So, let's start the process. Initially, we will take a protein sample. In that sample, the protein will be present in the form of a tertiary or quaternary structures. In tertiary and quaternary structures, protein will make different bonds with each other, especially the disulfide linkage bond. So, we need to break this bond. For that, we will add 2-marcaptoethanol in the solution. The function of this 2-marcaptoethanol is to break the disulfide linkage bond present between the protein sample and make it in a primary polypeptide chain. Now we will also add iodoacetic acid in the solution. The function of this iodoacetic acid is that it will prevent the protein to make this bond again. Now, admin degradation method can only sequence a polypeptide chain that is 50 to 70 amino acids long. So, in that solution, we might have polypeptide chains that are longer than 50 to 70 amino acids. We need to chop them up into small pieces. For that, we will either add trypsin or cyanogen bromide in the solution. In both cases, it will cut the polypeptide chain into small pieces. Now we need to separate these polypeptide chains from each other and for that we will do electrophoresis followed by staining for that protein. For that we will use pulsar red and then we will find the red bands present on that membrane. We'll take one band from it, extract the protein from it and then we will add Edmund reagent in it. The chemical formula of Edmund reagent is phenyl isothiocyanate and this is the chemical formula for that. Now what is the function of Edmund reagent? Edmund reagent in mild alkaline condition attach itself to the amino acid present on the end terminal of the polypeptide chain and make a compound called as phenyl thiocarbamyl derivative. Then in acidic environment, it will remove this amino acid from this polypeptide chain and form a compound called as phenylthiohydantoin. Now this phenylthiohydantoin can easily be detected by using HPLC. So, Edmund reagent will take the amino acid one by one from the end terminal and then we will detect it with HPLC. So Edmund reagent is acting like a barber who is trimming the amino acids from the end terminal of the polypeptide chain. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.